Ah, it's been a long day. Now I'm about to just chill with my friend Ken and eat some food. And speaking of food, let me ask Ken what he wants. Ken, you want anything? And yo, what the heck? Why did he just fall over? Ken, are you good? Uh, what's wrong? Bro, why is he on the floor like that right now? What is going on? Speak to me. Guys, I'm scared. He said, call 911. Oh my gosh, he's gonna go to the hospital. All right, Ken, let's go. I'm picking him up. Bro, I don't have a car right now. This is really bad. I'm kind of struggling, as you guys can see. So I have to take him to the hospital, like, on foot, bro. I don't have time for 911. They take way too long i'm gonna say ken stay with me bro it's gonna be okay he said i don't feel okay yeah i can see that bro oh my gosh poor dude all right we're almost there come on i'm gonna say don't worry and here we are here we are emergency i'm gonna say hello doctor he said hello sir i'm gonna say emergency my friend is not okay please take him he said come on let's get him all right he has him now oh poor ken i'm so worried about him dang i hope he's okay guys we're literally about to just chill and hang out and now we're at the hospital all right it's fine he's gonna be okay i'm sure whatever it is he'll be fine okay Oh, the doctor's back. There he is. He said, bad news, sir. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? Huh? What does he mean, bad news? He said, your friend has a brain tumor. And what the heck is that? I said, okay, what is that? He said, but good thing is it's in early stages. Okay. He said, we can remove it, but the problem is we need to do a surgery. And it costs... $350,000? Wait, uh, dollars? Yes. Oh, gosh. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh, insurance should cover it. He said, yes, it should. And he said, do you know his insurance info? Uh, no, but let me talk to him for a sec. I'll get it. And he said, okay, sir. All right, let me follow him back here. And oh my gosh, probably behind the curtains, isn't he? Yeah, there he is. Oh, poor Ken, dude. I'm gonna say, uh, just give us a moment, if you could. All right, he's gone. Ken, how you feeling, bro? He said, not good at all. Yeah, I can tell. I'm gonna say, have you heard the news? You need surgery, bro. And he said, what? Oh, uh, he doesn't even know. Oh, gosh. He said, I don't have insurance. Wait, 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 wait. Hold, hold on. What? You don't have insurance? Guys, if you don't know what insurance is, basically... If you have insurance, or at least health insurance, they'll cover the medical bills for you. You normally pay for insurance, and that way, in case an emergency happens, it's kind of covered. And he said, no. Well, that's not good. I'm going to say, do you know how much this surgery costs? He said, it can't be that much, right? Uh, it is that much. I'm going to say, it's 350 Okay. He said, what? I don't have that. Okay, okay, okay. Look, look, look. I, I, I figured you didn't have that. That's why I hoped you had insurance. I'm going to say, let me talk to the doctor and see if this surgery is that important. I mean, maybe we have time. He said, okay, I'm scared. Listen, you're going to be fine. Don't worry. All right, let me talk to that doctor. Where is this guy at? Uh, hello, doc? We need to talk. He said, oh, hey, did you get his insurance info? Uh, no. Slight problem. He doesn't have insurance. He said, oh, well, do you have the means to pay out of pocket? Uh, probably not. I'm going to say that's why I wanted to talk. I want to know, uh, how important is this surgery? Do we need to do it now? And he said, well, he has 48 hours before the tumor spreads. 48 hours? Oh, my gosh. And I'm going to say, well, what happens once it spreads? And he said, now it's better than later. He said, well, it would start corrupting his brain. Wait, what does that mean? But I don't know anything about this, like, doctor stuff. He will suffer from memory loss, and his body won't function correctly. Well, that doesn't sound good um um and eventually his entire brain will shut down which means the heart will stop which means you know bro he could die oh my gosh okay so you're saying he needs a surgery the next 48 hours or else he could die and he said yes oh gosh oh gosh okay not good not good uh do i tell him do i tell him he said so do you have the means to pay out of pocket uh bro i don't i'm gonna say uh yes okay guys look i'm lying to him okay i i can all right, I can't, but I can. All right, he said, okay, then. Pay the fees now so we can start the surgery as soon as possible. Um, slight problem. I don't have the money now. Okay, okay, look, guys, listen. I don't have the money right now, but let me say something real quick. Cash or card? Bro, whose card even charges 350 k All right, look, I need to go get the cash. It's stored away somewhere. Obviously, I don't have it on me. It may take about... 24 hours is that okay he said it's fine but not longer than 48 hours okay okay he said you know what will happen after yeah i do he said we'll keep him here till then oh okay let me have one last word with him then i'll get the money and he said sure thing all right boys i gotta talk to him real quick and i'll uh, look at him laying down i'm gonna say ken he said yes he said did you find out how important the surgery is uh 
Yeah, I, I did. So, do I need to get it? Uh, yes. He said, how will I pay then? I'm gonna say, and you need it in the next 48 hours, or else there will be permanent damage to your body, and possibly even death. He said, I don't have that kind of money. I don't think I ever did. And he said, what? I can't even make that money from working for 24 hours. What am I gonna do, bro? Listen, I'm gonna get the money for you. You're my best friend, and I'm not gonna let you die, okay? He said, what? You have that much money? Uh, no, I don't. But I'm gonna figure out a way. And he said, huh? How will you pay then? Don't worry about it. Just get some rest. I'll be back in 24 hours. And he said, oh, okay. Thank you, Tap. And all right, will do, I guess. Oh, gosh. All right, I'm, I'm out of here, boys. I need to leave. I'm gonna say, see you soon, Doc. I'm leaving. All right, boys, look. I need to go home right now and count my savings, okay? I don't think I have nearly enough money. Well, I know I don't have nearly enough money. But let me see at least how much money I do have. Because maybe then I could see if I could actually possibly afford it. <laughs> I don't know what to do. All right, we're almost home, though. I'll open up my savings and see how much money I do have. All right, let me close my fridge. I left that open. Let's see. How much money do I have? Not gonna lie, it looks pretty decent in there. Let me go ahead and take it out, though, and count all this up. One second. And okay, I just finished counting. Bad news. I have $50,000. The surgery cost $350,000, meaning I need to somehow get $300,000 within the next 24 hours. Or else my friend is gonna die. All right, look, I need to think. I'm going on the internet right now, and I'm looking up how to make money, or how to make a lot of money, I guess. Okay, I'm not figuring anything out. I'm not gonna lie, that was useless. It just said, like, work hard and study. I don't have time to study right now. It said get a good job. Look, I need money today. I need money now. And let me think, how can I make money? How could I make money? <gasps> I have an idea. All right, boys, look, I know it's not the smartest thing ever, and... I know I probably shouldn't even be saying this, but what if I stole the money? Look, there's a lot of places in Brookhaven, okay? You have the grocery store, you have the gas station food mart, and even the phone store. Now look, I know it sounds crazy, but what if I robbed all of these stores? I'd have to have enough money to pay for his bills, right? I mean, I think so at least. I don't know, maybe it's a bad idea. I mean, look, it's definitely a bad idea, but I'm not letting my friend die, okay? I'm not. I'll do whatever it takes. I don't care. All right, I didn't want to do this, but it's time to get ready. And oh gosh, it's been so late to stun sorting the rise. I've been up all night worried. But anyways, I'm ready. Look, I don't recommend doing this, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Or at least I do. Now also, I never showed you guys this, but behind my house, I have this old van that I used to have. I don't even know if it still works, honestly, but... If it does, I could definitely use this as a getaway driver car. And, oh, it works. All right, this is perfect. All right, I need to get to work now because I don't have much time. By the time the sun goes down, I basically need to have the money. So let's get to work. All right, look, I'm going to go to the gas station first. I don't even know how to do this. I don't know why I'm doing this. Well, I do know why, but I don't want to. Anyways, all right, here we are. I'm going to pretend that I'm getting gas, you know, just what about my business, getting gas. And, bro, I look so suspicious. The moment I hop out of this car... He's gonna know something's up. All right, anyways, I'm gonna go and step out of the car. Here we are, and I'm walking in. All right, I'm not showing my face. I'm just pretending to look at the food. He said, good morning, sir. I'm gonna say, oh, hey. He said, do you need help? Oh my gosh, bro, he's such a nice guy. I can tell, too. All right, look, listen, boys, I don't have a choice. I gotta do what I gotta do. I'm gonna say yes. I do need help, actually. He said, how can I help you? I'm gonna say, help me by opening the cash register now. And oh gosh, look at him. I'm gonna say, move now. He said, uh, give me all the money. He said, sir, it's empty. I'm gonna say, do you want to die? It's the beginning of the day. I'm gonna say, I don't care. I need the money now. He said, okay, okay. Yeah, open it up. Open it up, buddy. There we go. A little faster if you could. Oh my gosh, bro, I shouldn't be doing this. Listen, I don't have a choice. I don't care. He said, um, open it. He said, I don't have the key. All right, that's it. I'm gonna shoot a shot off. All right, here we go. Open the cash register. He said, wait, wait. Bro, the cops are gonna come any second now. I just shot around. Come on. He said, I can open it. All right, good. Do it. He said, here. All right, finally. Give me that. Now, don't tell anyone. He said, okay, okay. All right, I'm out of here, boys. I need to move. And he said, hello, 911. Oh my gosh, this idiot, bro. He's calling the cops. All right, I need to go. I need to go. I need to go. We're out of here. Oof. 
All right, I need to go uh, hide somewhere right now. I need to stay low, all right? I don't want to get caught or anything. And right here should be a good spot. And oh my goodness, the cops are already here. Bro, look. And oh my gosh, he's probably questioning them right now. This is not good. This is not good. All right, I'm not going to worry too much about it. I just need to keep moving, okay? I need to rob two more stores. And by then, I should probably have enough money, I'm assuming. I mean, three stores, so it's probably a good amount of money. All right, anyways, uh, what should I rob next? The grocery store is a little close to the police store station but i probably should do it the phone store would probably be good as well but look the grocery store probably has money as well all right look i'm gonna back up into this alley right here and wait can i uh okay no i can't fit my car in there but it doesn't really matter i'll just stick it right here all right i'm gonna hide right here which is in front of the police station and oh my gosh the cops literally just drove by me oh i need to be careful i need to be careful hey look at the chat he said we're making a police report about him now thank you oh my gosh all right anyways we're almost there right now i'm walking to the grocery store door and this is it all right, I'm walking in. I'm in. I mean, no, that's not it. This is it right here. Yeah, this is it. All right, I'm in. And is there a worker in here? Oh, yeah, there is. All right, let me just act cool and pretend that I'm shopping. Do, 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 do. I don't want to actually steal anything. I'm not a jerker or, or anything. I wouldn't steal for no reason. I'm just doing it because I have to, bro. I don't have a choice. All right, here we go, boys. In three, two, one. I'm going to say hello. And okay, honestly, I, I don't want to pull my gun out, okay? It's way too risky right now. The cop station is literally right there. He said, hey, how can I help you? Also, sir, no mask in the store, please. It's a policy. I'm afraid you have to leave then. Uh, well, I'm afraid you need to open up your cash register and give me every dollar inside of it. He said, huh? Is this a prank? I'm not doing that. All right. I asked nicely, but do it now. He said, okay, okay. Oh yeah, he's scared. Move it. And there we go. He has the money. Here. Good. Now don't tell anyone, okay? He said, uh, yeah, yeah. All right, bro. He's definitely calling the cops. What am I even saying? All right, I'm out of here, boys. He said, cops. Okay. All right, just run to the van, run to the van, and we're good. The cops are going to go right past me. Watch. And look at him. Going right in his police car, as I guessed it. All right, let me get out of here now. And we did it. All right, this is all for Ken, bro. I'm sorry. I don't want to rob anyone, obviously. I never would. But I have to. I don't have a choice. Anyways, let's go ahead and park the car right here. Because next is the last store I need to rob. Well, hopefully. And it's the phone store. Look, boys. The phone store definitely has a lot of money in it, all right? They sell phones. And phones are expensive. So, let's do we gotta do all right here we are oh nice little phones they have here oh, interesting he said this phone is so much faster they get better and better hello sir what can i do for you i'm gonna say hey i actually need something other than a phone today like a laptop i'm gonna say no something else a repair i'm gonna say no i need money and i need it now he said oh my gosh i'm gonna say give me all the money you have right now he said it's right here take it all right, good. On the table. Perfect. Thank you. All right, I'm out of here. What kind of robber says thank you when he robs someone? All right, I I'm stupid. It's fine. Listen, I, I, I just had to do what I had to do. And let's get in the car, and we're out of here. Oh, my gosh, boys. I think I have the money now, though. Let's go. All right, I just need to go home and count it. Once I count it, it'll be good. And he's called 911. He said, 911, I've been robbed. All right, I'm back home. Let me open up my safe and count all of this money. Hopefully, it's enough. I'm an idiot. Boys, I don't of robbing all three of those stores i got a thousand dollars so now i have fifty one thousand dollars and i'll put it in the safe my friend ken's gonna die there's nothing i can do i don't have a choice i'm literally screwed how am i gonna get another two hundred ninety nine thousand dollars in the next uh, i don't know eight hours and huh breaking news breaking news Three stores in Brookhaven have been robbed today by a hooded man. Here's a photo of him. And, huh, that's me! Oh, gosh. He's currently the most wanted criminal in Brookhaven. If you know who this man is, please call. No, 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 no. I'm turning that TV off. Boys, I'm wanted. I'm the most wanted criminal in Brookhaven? This is not good. This is not good. I need to watch my back, bro. This is going to be really bad. And, yo, the police is literally driving around right now. They're probably looking for me. All right, all right, all right, listen. I'm fine. Look, I'm closing my safe. I didn't think of a plan. All right, look. If I didn't get enough money from robbing those three stores, the only place that would have enough money is the bank. Look, I didn't want to do this, but I have to. I'm robbing the bank. It's the only way I'm going to get another $300,000 right now. They're the only people who actually keep $300,000. And to do that, I'm going to need to get in the safe, meaning I need to make a bomb. All right, boys. 
I've gotten my bomb. Now, I can't really show you how it works because obviously that'd be really bad and explode my house, but it's ready for use. It's also nighttime, which means it's time to mask up and follow through with the plan. I'm gonna go around back, grab my van, and let's get to work. And bro, it's starting to rain right now too. All right, look, I'm gonna go scout it out like I said, then we'll get to work. All right, I'm driving by now. And oh gosh, there's literally cop cars outside of the bank. They probably expect something to happen. All right, if I'm being honest with you guys, I should not go to the front, all right? I'm gonna get caught way too fast. The best way to do this is through the vents. Now, boys, if you don't know about the vents, let me show you where they are. You have to actually walk behind the alleyway where the bank is, go inside of the secret area, walk downstairs, and here we are. Now, there's a tunnel. You need to walk through this tunnel all the way through, hit a left, go up, and we have this vent. This vent leads you to the bank vault. And as you can see, it's right there. Now, luckily, these guards are dilly-dallying downstairs. So I should be able to get the bomb off and get away before they catch me. Let's hope this works. All right, here we go. And I don't have much time either before I need to give that doctor the money. I mean, we're running out of time already. After I rob this place, I'm going straight to the hospital. All right, here we go in three two one let's do this all right we're in we're in we're in hopefully i'm looking at the cameras the camera is right there so they shouldn't be able to see me right now i'm gonna put the bomb right here to their corner perfect and i'm gonna need to move all the way on this side and as you can see i am under this little ledge so the camera can probably not see me i don't know if it can or not like i said it's over there doesn't matter though they're gonna see me in a second and here we go three two one and explode we're in we're in oh my gosh look how much money is in here this is definitely enough all right, grab it all. Grab it all. And oh gosh, I hear a guy. Oh, they said hands up. Hands up. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay, I don't want to kill them. I don't want to die myself. He said where we can see him. Hands where we can see him. I'm going to say, uh, hold on. What do I do? What do I do? I have an idea. I'm putting the bomb back down. There we go. And they said bomb. Run for safety. Oh, oh. <laughs> It worked! Okay, okay, get in the vent, go in the vent. No, oh, I'm gone, I'm gone. Look, I didn't explode them, I didn't kill them. They're still alive, and we're good. Oh, and they're saying, huh? I didn't go off. <laughs> oh my gosh, it worked, my plan! All right, I'm in the car, and we're out of here. And he said, where is he? All the money's gone. He said, we're gonna get fired. We need to find him. Today was my first day. <laughs> Yo, what the heck? And oh gosh, the cops are already out. I just saw them. Look right there, guys. All right, anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm here at the hospital. I'm gonna just park my car, probably right here, somewhere kind of hidden, even though they didn't see it. And I'm going in. Oh, oh also, let me take my disguise off, though. I don't want to be seen on camera. And yo, the cops just drove past me. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. All right. This guy's off now. All right, we're good. Back to normal. I look like a normal person. Uh, kind of. All right, anyways, let's go ahead and walk in here. The doctor's still here. I'm gonna say hello, doc. Did I make it in time? Welcome back, sir. And yes, right in time. All right, perfect. Here's all the money. Let me just give it to him. He said, perfect. I said, is that enough? And he said, we'll start with a surgery within an hour. Okay, it is enough. He said, yes. All right, we're good. I'm gonna say, all right, I'll be waiting. Oh, gosh. I hope the surgery goes good. No, Dr. John's back. He said, hey there. Surgery is perfectly done. He's back to normal. Oh, good to hear. I'm gonna go talk to him, bro. I'm gonna even ask for permission. And let's see, is he there? And he said, hey, Tap. I'm gonna say, hey, Ken. How you feeling, bro? He said, I'm feeling great. How did you get that much money, though? Uh, don't worry about it. He said, I didn't think you could do it. I'm gonna say, haha. Well, I did. I'd do anything for you, bro. That's what friends are for. He said, thank you so much, Tappy. You're the best. Yep. Uh, no problem. Let's get out of here. I don't really want to be out right now. Now, to be honest with you guys, even though Ken's safe, I feel like it's not complete. I think I need to turn myself in, and I don't even want to tell that to Ken. I'm just going to get him home first. I'm going to say, hey, Doc, we're all good to leave? He said, okay. Just one thing. Oh, some kind of signature, I guess. Sign here, please. Alrighty. Signing. And done. He said, you're good to go now. Thanks. All right, let's go. Let's go. Ken, come on. And all right, we're out the car. So I'm gonna say hop in. He said, what the heck? When did you have this car? It's so rusty. Uh, oh, don't worry about that. And also, what happened to your clothes? Uh, you're asking too many questions, huh? <laughs> what are you, the cops? <laughs> Be quiet and get in. <laughs> Let's go. He said, um, okay. He said, hey, Tap, you didn't do anything bad, right? I'm gonna say bad. <laughs> 
No. Oh, gosh. I'm lying to him. And oh, my goodness. There's a copter behind us. And wait, 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 wait. Are we getting pulled over? Oh, my gosh. I'm going to say, Ken, I did. I'm sorry. He said, huh? What did you do? I'm going to say, just be quiet. And all right, here the cops come. Oh, gosh. He said, hello there. He said, do you know why I stopped you? I'm going to say, no, sir. He said, well, we're doing a patrol and pulling people over, checking for people related to a bank robbery. I'm going to say, oh, wow, a bank robbery. Boys, it was me. And I was going to turn myself in anyway, so I, I, I might as well do it now. He said, know anything of it? I'm going to say, yes, I do. And he said, huh? I'm going to say... It was me. And he said, you! Well, that was easy enough. I'm gonna say, Ken, don't worry about me. I'm just glad you're okay. Oh, you robbed the bank? Why? I'm gonna say, I had to. And hands where we can see you. Put the hands up. All right, all right, all right, all right. Calm down. I'm doing it. He said, turn around. Go for cuffs. And, they're, and Ken's asking, can you let him leave? They both said no. Yeah, they, they can. I did this to myself. He robbed four stores. Oh my gosh, he's telling Ken everything. He said, move. All right, all right, I'm leaving. And he said, what? I'm going to say, I'm sorry, Ken. I did it for you. And he said, dude, back in the car, buddy. Yep, yeah, I'm going. He said, no, Tab. I'm going to say, good luck out there. He said, let him leave. And we're gone. I guess this is what happens when you rob a bank. Well, boys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you boys in the next one. Peace.